Hello world, welcome to my channel, Proteus Augustus. I'm an artist, scientist, and American constitutionist. Today is December 14th, 2020. It's uh, sub 20, I think it's like 2019 right now. I'm standing on my homestead, uh, approximately 8,000 feet on this semi-arid desert across from Mount Blanca, which is 14,000 and some hundred feet, I don't recall. But this is the coldest place in Colorado, or should I say the coldest type terrain. But based on the recorded temperature records in Alamosa, about 20 miles west of here, and my own temperature surveys, this is the coldest area because of the radiational cooling. That's why this isn't a bad spot for me. Because it does snow, but I can still get access to my property. Even though I'm off grid, there are county roads to my property. I have game on my property. And I'm not far from the forest, so in the summertime, the forest, it could be 100 here, and it'll be 75 in the forest. Um, in the wintertime, there's not a, as big a difference, but it's still warmer in some of my spots in the forest. Um, due to the fact that there's windshields, you know, the mountains and the terrain, and trees and things of that nature that keep the, the temperature from going into space retarded from the speed it would be on this terrain. There's nothing on this terrain to prevent the flow of energy from the ground to the atmosphere and at this elevation the air is a bit thin. So anyways um, I proofed the other night sub-zero here on my property. It was, I think, like 7. And with the wind chill, it was below zero. I have 30,000 square feet landscape down there. Okay. This is all my property. And this area here, where I want to put like a little patio area, this goes around here where this rock pile is, and it goes around over there. So I'm standing up here. This is the property I'm having a land dispute over with the county. I think that um, you know, I can't really comment it on right now, but I, I don't really feel um, that bad about this situation, to be quite honest with you, because it is what it is, and um, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? And um, that's what the law is for. And that's why today they're, you know, taking a look see at the vote. And I hope that the legislatures are gonna stand up and start saying, hey, listen, we are gonna have a corrupt government if you allow this to continue. I can't believe that there's leadership in this country, even in the Democratic Party, those that really want to save their party are going to let this continue. But never mind that. Um, so anyways, what I wanted to do is to also show you my gear that I'm using. So I'm going to go down to my car and I'll start this over. Okay, so here I am down on my property. Give you another view from where I was up there. Okay, that's where I was standing up there looking down here. And this is the area I landscaped for my building or for horses of a corral. Um, 
you know, how this plays out, we'll see. But anyways, so I've been practicing with my gear and so basically this is my Subaru compartment. I have my weaponry over there, okay? And I have my other jacket over there and a light jacket. This is clothing. Over there is um, hygiene. Minus 30 bag pillow. Insulated bottom. Computer electronics. Now, I know that on the show alone, you know, you don't have a car, obviously, but I'm trying to simulate the circumstances. I don't use the heat once I get in my bag. So I have already been in my bag for 12 hours at a shot a few times. It's not that difficult for me. Um, but it's very comfortable. So really the only thing that the car represents is the shelter that I would create as a windshield and also put windbreakers around my little shelter. And actually, if I was on a site where I could run a fire and have a shelter, I think I'd be better off than I am in my car because I'll be toasty and I'll be able to heat water, take care of my hygiene better. But anyways, this car is not doing anything except provide a windbreak when I'm proofing in my bag. And that's a beautiful shot right there, isn't it? Look at that. This is a beautiful place, not respect, you know, irrespecting some of these abandoned properties around here. This is a gorgeous place, and I'm fighting for this. You know what I'm saying? I want my um, building over here, you know? And this way I, I can jump off into the forest from here. Then I could come back here and dress the animal. So like the other night, if you look up there, that's 14,000 feet, right? Plus, I'm over in the San Juan, I'm getting up pretty high, 10,000, you know? And so it's a lot of stove over there. I'm gonna check that out later today. Um, so then I can run here and then shelter here if uh, there's too much snow there. So, I, you know, I could bring my animals here. I could have had so many animals by now. And this whole thing about the county and what they're trying to do here is um, prevented me from doing that. Well, look at that sky. It's gorgeous. Okay, everybody. So anyway, let me give you a, a view from this angle. So that's the minus 30 bag. And that jacket there, that jacket right there, I've had it for a long time. It's waterproof. It's very warm. And I could wear this uh, down jacket I got right now inside of it. And I wouldn't even get wet. It's like the best jacket I've ever bought. Anyways. Sorry if some of this folk goes in and out of focus. I think it's the sun and the reflection from the snow. Anyways, till next time. Think free and be free.